It has become winter in Norway. It is cold and there is less life in the sea. In terms of experience, I expect a dive where we just cruise around in good visibility and dive a little deep for scallops. I know that nature runs in low gear and that the cold slows down the speed a bit, both on land and in the sea. But a turbot weighing almost 3.5 kilos in the middle of winter, right here, it was so shockingly cool that the smile lasted from here to home and longer. We observe it independently of each other, but at the same time, lucky me to have the honor of taking it home. I had to pinch myself in the arm. It didn't make sense what I saw. If we had seen a decent sized cod or a slow halibut instead, then I would have understood what was going on. But a turbot, my favorite species, that is awesome. You just never know what lies ahead at the start of a dive. It may look easy to shoot or stab a turbot as we do here in this video, and it is. Once you have found it, of course, but what makes this fish a bit unique for me and many others is the taste. It is a delicate food fish that tastes insanely good. Actually, my personal favorite fish to eat. It's a very expensive fish to buy at the fish counter too. So that's why I catch a turbot when I see one. Within minimum limits, of course, which is 30 centimeters in Norway. The taste of a well-cooked turbot never fails. And that is perhaps why the ancient Romans praised turbot as the pheasant of the sea. We see scallops, but quickly realize that here we have to put in some effort to get hold of them. Visibility is good over 20 meters, so it can be difficult to estimate the exact depth seen from the surface. So we take a few test dives down to check where they are and how many there are. Can you see them? See a couple there quite easily. Mm -mm. Scallops, the fruits of the sea. On this dive, you get a good impression of the visibility. The depth is 16.5 meters. And now that we know where the scallops are, all that remains is to get down and collect them. Looks like a couple of scallops are on their way up there. Got them. It looked deep. Looks like I should find my inner peace and collect myself a bit before the descent. Breathe calmly and clear your mind. Focus on the task. Dive down, get scallops, and come back up. I like to visualize the dive in my head before I descend. I like to feel my hands, shoulders, neck, legs, and feet calm down. Now I enter the zone and await the go-ahead from my body. Then I dive down. Although deep diving in winter can be a bit demanding, sliding down toward the bottom is the greatest feeling in the world. Two scallops found. Mission accomplished. Up we go. Winter diving. Almost the feeling of having survived something. Despite the cold. 
you are left with a wonderful feeling. My biggest motivation is definitely the good visibility you can get in the water. But of course, the fish too. You can find fish. The turbot you see in this video is a good example of that. It's not very often that I'm out in the winter, but I've never regretted a winter dive, that is for sure. And so, without further ado, go day divers. <laughs>